Nine Kenyan engineers designed and developed Kenya's first Earth observation satellite that is set to be launched Easter Monday. The satellite, whose cost was 50 million shillings, was developed in two years and will join 50 satellites so far launched by African countries. Mashirima Kapombe met three of the nine who say the launch is a milestone that Kenyans should own and be proud of. At the Kenya Space Agency Laboratory in Nairobi, Rose Wanjiko, Pater Nodhiambo and Captain Alois Were show me a prototype of Taifa 1, a 3U Earth observation satellite that they, among six others, designed and developed in the past two years. Rose, an aerospace engineer, says she was always fascinated by machines in the air. At first I wanted to create the most safest aircraft. That's why I went into uh, aviation. But her vision grew when she was recruited among nine engineers to develop Kenya's first 3U nano satellite. As the project lead, the challenge was more compelling than her childhood dreams. And so the first thing the team had to go through is to be able to understand the space environment. What temperatures are we going to be experiencing for the satellite? What um, occurrences can happen, even the time of uh, where the sun is positioned. Patan Odhiambo, an electrical and electronics engineer, graduated from Jomo Kenyatta University in 2019. He joined the team a year later when the project began. My dad was a physics and chemistry teacher and he used to operate a lot on our radios. So I fell in love early with capacitors and resistors. His job on the project was to make sure the satellite communicates effectively. My task is to basically design the radio link. There is something we call the, the link budget. How much power do, does the satellite have to transmit for it to be able to reach the ground station? In layman terms... So as the satellite takes images, it shouts to the ground station, hey, this is what I have seen. And now the ground station can be able to pick this up and we take it up as human operators and we can act on the same information. We all know that space finds application in virtually all aspects of human endeavor. If you are talking transportation, if you are talking TV and broadcasting, if you are talking broadband communications, navigation and positioning, weather forecasting. Captain Alois Were is a mechanical and structural engineer. He studied at the Technical University of Kenya and later matters space in Nigeria. When we talk of uh, three U, we are talking of three units of cubes. In satellite technology, one cube measures 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10. So for Taifa 1, it is uh, three stacked units, which is uh, 10 by 10 by 30. Wera says the structure of the satellite serves as the house of all its components and is made of aluminium. The satellite will be flying in this horizontal position, this orientation, with the deployable solar panels. In this case, we call them solar arrays, so that they have maximum illumination of the solar energy from the sun. Why aluminium? Because it has better thermal characteristics, and equally, it has good characteristics to withstand the harsh space environment. The testing and manufacture of the parts was done in collaboration with a Bulgarian aerospace manufacturer. The satellite will only operate for five years. For the satellite to stay in orbit, it has to go at a certain speed. Over time, the batteries are not as powerful uh, because of use and reuse. And so over time, the, the satellite starts to slow down. And as soon as you start to slow down, you start to lose the altitude of your orbit, which is what is called orbit decay. And so because as it decays, it enters into the, air atmo the atmosphere of Earth, it starts to, there's a lot of friction in the, in, with the air particles that now causes it to burn up. Rose, the lead engineer, is among a government delegation that will witness the launch from the U.S. She says current Kenyan investment in the space economy is limited, necessitating partnerships for satellite launches for African states. Taifa 1 will be launched by SpaceX aboard Falcon 9 rocket at Vandenberg Base in California on April 10th. It will orbit the Earth vertically parallel to the sun.
Taifa One is a first in the investment of a constellation of Earth observation satellites set to be launched over time as Kenya spurs its growth in satellite development capabilities and probably grow more engineers like Rose, Patton and Alois in Kenya's space economy. Mashirima Kapombe, Citizen TV, Nairobi.